Hello, good evening. Welcome. It's Ruth here at artfulstampin.co.uk. Happy Thursday to you. It's Thursday the 15th of February. Let's have a look who's in on the live. Hello, if also if you're joining on the replay. Uh, I've got some extra lights here. I finally got around to plugging them in. Uh, the only thing is they, they, they're creating these weird little lights in my glasses. So um, if I just look down, maybe that'll be fine. You, you yeah, anyway, hope it's not too distracting. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Kim. Vicky. Mindy. Hi, Monica. Uh, who else is on here? Hi, Pamela. Glenna. <clears throat> Please don't rush around too much, Vicky. Don't want you to do yourself an injury. <laughs> Hi, Anne. Hi, Shaz. Oh, lovely to see you all. Uh, if if there's anybody who you'd like to have join us, just to maybe have a little wee chat. Anyone you know that might enjoy joining, please do invite them along to come and hang out. Now's the time to do it. Hi, Deb. Hi, Diane. Hi, Carol. Lovely to see you. All right, so I have a few scraps on my desk. I also have got some really lovely celebration papers to use up. I did say to you that I will be showing those off uh, over the next couple of weeks while we still have the opportunity to earn them for free um, but I like finding new ways to use them so I wanted to attempt again a mini book because my last attempt um, wasn't so great but I think I've cracked it I think I've figured out what the problem is and um, we'll go from there I also wanted to show you what you can do with a leftover baby wipe so we'll do that as well. So my baby wipe from last night was sitting on my desk, has gone a little bit dry, but um, I had a little experiment with it. So I'll show you what you can do with it. So here's, here's my baby wipe from yesterday. I'll just get some more lighting in the situation. There we go. Um, <clears throat> So yes, yeah, so it's a bit dry, a bit drier than it was. And so I thought, oh, I'll try swiping it over a piece of card. And I tried and it didn't, nothing happened. But then I got one of my spritzes that's just got a little bit of water in it. And I re-spritzed, oh, I know what, maybe I should re-spritz this one first. Re-spritzed the baby wipe just to re-moisten it up a bit. And then I swiped it over this piece of very vanilla cardstock and look what happened. I mean, it's just a piece of piece of art, isn't it, really? So um, I'm just uh, I'm going to flip that over. So I've got one of the little boxes that I bought the other day. These are designed to have gift cards in them. They actually have a little gift card holder that comes with it, but I thought it would be really fun to... Uh, cover, uh, decorate this box and maybe make an album to go inside it so I've got my baby wipe here I'm, I'm anticipating getting very messy but all right there we go see a bit of a swish and look at that we've got cool rainbows happening here look at that I mean you couldn't you couldn't paint it really or you know do it with a pen or anything and that happened pretty instantly. I'm just going to see what happens if I do it on the back. So this is a bit more shiny because um, it is supposed to be food proof, the, these card box, cardboard boxes. Obviously, once you've got ink on it, I'm not quite sure how food proof it is. But there we go. Um, that's quite nice, isn't it, to have as a... And then you could, of course, stamp on that. I'm going to do another one because I've got all this ink on here, so I may as well. So I may as well just see if any others seem to any other colours come off. A bit of a swirl and a swish. Now I did see that was it Patty Bennett got very excited because someone I think it might have been Sarah. That Stampin' Up did a demonstration of how to use a baby wipe and put ink directly onto the baby wipe, wipe and swish. But it, I, I think this is just a really great way of using up um, a baby wipe if you've done the baby wipe technique, you know. 
Oh, let's get a bit more, a bit more green in there. Squish that in. How cool is that? Oh, I'm going to have to show my son this because um, he's been using the brayer to make backgrounds. But this is a really cool, a fun technique there. I like that. And then, of course, I've got my little piece of paper here. I've got a bit of scrap. Oh, that's a bit of scrap there. I'm just going to do a bit more because I might use this inside my album. Never know. What's this? Just a bit of. I think I might need to spray a bit more. lovely and messy here. Is Janice on yet? Is Janice enjoying this? This is Janice's cup of tea, this. Ooh. Not sure if I like that so much. I think I prefer the swishing. All right, now I feel that I can Get rid of that and not feel guilty about wasting all that ink. Right, we'll leave that, those to dry, one side. We'll come back to those. What I want to do now is just take some measurements to decide how big my little album is going to be. <clears throat> so these measure oh, about two and three quarters by four let's write these measurements down I'm just going to do a little drawing so two and three quarters by four so I'm thinking if we make the album two and a half by three and a half and then the width of it make it three quarters that will fit beautifully into there so right, I might do more stamping on this I'm not going to put it together just yet right how's everybody doing did you enjoy that Uh, hi Diane. Yeah, you need to refer to yesterday's um, yesterday's video. I I made a custom ink pad yesterday, and that was the leftover ink from the custom ink pad yesterday. So I I had it sitting out today. It got a bit dry, so I was just using it up. All right, so I'm going to cut a piece of cardstock three and a half inches wide now this is the thicker stuff this is a snappable stuff just to find a corner that's nice and sturdy what did I say two and a half so we're going to go two and a half two and a half and then three quarters Hoping this stacks okay. Oh, come on. There we go. Lovely. Now, I wanted to use up some of these papers from Celebration. We've got this lovely pinky swirly one, which I thought would be quite nice with the birds. I'm just going to see what else we've got here. Oh, we've got a nice gold. I'll run that, that gold there. So I quite like the idea of perhaps mixing that pink and gold with, let's see what's in this pack here. Got some nice birds there. That one. That lovely lilac. Lots of nice, lots of nice pretties in there. Lots to choose from. 
Um, and can we go for quite like the idea of this floral with them? Um, oh no, I don't actually. <laughs> I thought I knew what I wanted then. I could clunk with that. Okay, let's do that instead. All right, so I just need to cut myself a piece of DSP now. So my my album measures three and a half inches in height. So I need an inch extra on the top and the bottom. So that takes us to three and a half, four and a half, five and a half inches. So I need five and a half here. I'm going to get the glue. Now I'm going to use my book binding glue rather than Tombow because I have got it here. So I may as well use it. Um, I've just lost that panel now. Where's that little middle panel gone? Oh. Swift it away somewhere. Right, let's cut another one. I haven't got time to look for it. Right. Any questions? Sorry. Hi, Donna. Hi, Ellen. Hi, Cindy. Oh, what book is she talking about? Um, da, 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 da. Oh, right. OK, I was going to say, can I recommend it to May? But no, I won't be doing that. She's reading a book called Six of Crows at the moment. Has anyone read that? I think she, she heard about it and then we managed to find it in a charity shop. Well, she found it in a charity shop the other day. So she's been devouring that. So I'm just sticking the middle section down because this would be the spine. And I'm giving it quite a bit. I'm, I'm almost giving it double this, double the width of the cardstock, because my problem has been giving it too small an amount, and it's been um, tearing. The paper's been tearing on me. So <coughs> excuse me. I use both, Diane. Yeah, no, it's no, it's a fine question. I get that asked a lot. And and lots of people on this channel give their opinion about whether they prefer inches and centimeters. Uh, but uh, I, I use both. I try and mention both if I can, because I know I have an audience of mixed who speak both languages. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I do try and mention both. Um, yeah. Oh, hello, bug. Oh, first bug of the season. All right, so stuck that down. So if you're new to bookmaking, welcome. Um, this is very simple. I'm quite new to this. Uh, so as I'm learning, I'm trying to pass on good information. So what I like to do is run my bone folder around all the card there like so now i've bought these helpful little gadgets to um help cut cut the um angles 
but um, if you don't have them that's absolutely fine all you're going to do is cut the triangle away <coughs> excuse me um, at the corner of the paper now I'm just folding this paper and then I'm going to cut it that's I find that quite easy to do so those little things are a guide and it's really important if you don't have one of those guides that you do leave a little bit of space there you do not want it all the way to the edge don't cut it right to the point of the card the thick card Hi Martina, hi Glenna. Yeah, and I've been known to use both as well, Donna. <laughs> I, I, I sometimes do actually use both in a project, which I'm sure for those of you who like to only speak one language is very annoying. But um, right, I'm just going to move this away because this is a bit distracting, this paper. Right, so I'm just pulling then the paper really tight, pulling that down. I've got, it's still got ink on my hands. Um, where are my baby wipes from yesterday? This would be a helpful time to use a baby wipe, wouldn't it? And I've got ink all over my fingers. Hi, Kenzie. Lovely to see everybody on the live tonight. Thank you. I don't take it for granted that everyone's going to turn up. I really don't. So it's always so lovely to have a few of you on. If you're new and you've never said hello, maybe tonight's the night for you to pluck up the courage to say hi. We won't bite, I promise. Only if you ask us to. <laughs> Right, so then once you've stuck top and bottom, use your bone folder just to push in that little overlapping, overhanging piece of paper. It's really important that you do that. I know it doesn't seem important, but it really is. It helps then the paper to know what to do when it comes to being folded in this way. I like your red hand, Ruth. It reminds me of Peaky Blinders. <laughs> Actually, I think that's the wrong accent for Peaky Blinders. Was Peaky Blinders set in Birmingham? Or was it set in London? I thought it was Midlands. Ah, uh, we'll watch this after this is over. Are you making a stamp pad? Yes, do, Diane. It was fun. It was fun. All right, there we go. So what I like to do is just make sure the areas next to the uh, gaps are really strongly down um, because then we want to just fold those in like so and like so. There we go. There we have a nice little book coming along. And then I'd like to line it with some gold, some of this gold paper. I think that's a nice little contrast, isn't it? <coughs> Things flying around here. So um, let's just do a quick measure then of this. Ah, oh, this now measures six inches. Uh, it should be three and a half, yep. So <coughs> I'll take this down to three and a quarter by five and a five and three quarters. So, stick that in the middle. I have a green right hand. What does that remind you of, Kim? Uh, is it the Hulk? Halfway turned into the Hulk, Martina. All right, there you have. 
the liner in there now. Okay, I'm just giving it a, there's a bit of wiggle time, wiggle room, just to get it all beautifully aligned up. Just going to rub that down. And there's actually no rush to be folding this just yet. You can leave that to properly dry before you do that. Hello, Miss Donna. Oh, how lovely to see you. How are you? I'm just going to use my bone folder down those gaps and then very gently fold that in. There we go. Whoop. Yeah, this is why I say it's okay to wait because it's all right just to wait for that glue to properly dry if you want to before folding that in. And there you have your outside of your little mini book. Right, so now I want to decide what pages I want to put in here. And I was thinking of using the same technique that I did uh, for this one. <clears throat> which is really, really, it's like one of the simplest ways to put in pages. But um, it is a little bit fiddly, but I'm sure we can do it. But instead of using cardstock, I think I'm going to use some of these lovely papers. So let's have a look at what we've got. Um, there's this one. Let me just double check what size papers I'm going to put in here. Um, say two inch. All right, so if I'm going to put two inch papers, I'm not going to cut it two inches. I'm going to score it to get this lined up nicely. Score it to cut at two and one eighth. It's a quite tight little thing and I forgot what I was meant to do also was to fold that before I cut it but never mind. I'm sure I will be fine. Just trying to see what size here to do for my two and three quarters I think. We'll go with two and three quarters. One. Mm. I think I only just want two of these pages because um, I want some other paper. I was hoping that this was going to be a super stash busting situation, but um, I'm not sure it's going to be. Right, so score it to get that blade out of the way oh I heard something give then be careful when you do that not to push down too hard right fold I promise you if you remember to do that fold it does make it easier for later on are you up early this morning Donna <clears throat> wish I could come over the ocean and stamp with you all. Well, wow, what part of the world are you in, Diane? There's people from all around the world here at the moment. So, right. Two of those. And... Oh, now which way do these birds go? Okay, this way. <clears throat> so score it to, I, I'm guessing, I'm guessing, but I'm surmising that if you wanted to make one of these, a bit like, you know, when I make cards, I say, if you're going to make one card, you may as well make two or three or four or five or six because you've got everything out. 
And I think this sort of project, because it's not using loads and loads of paper, even though I wish it had done, um, you, you could probably just sit and cut out a whole load of pages and covers and so forth and actually have a really merry old time and probably make four in one go because I'm only using like two, a couple of these for each book um because I haven't actually got the space to for the in the spine because the spine remember is only I've only got sort of three quarters of an inch so I've only got space for one, two, three, four, five, six pages. That is it. Um, I think, let's have a look. I mean, I can start, let me start lining them up, but <clears throat> I really don't actually have much space. So, yeah, let's count. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I only have space for six pages. So you never know, I might make another one tonight. Um, it's 8.42 here on Friday. Ah, oh, not too early. Not too early. So where's Diane based? Ah! Oh. oh, there's two Donners together. Oh, that's hilarious. Two, the two Donners are sitting next to each other. That seems to happen quite a bit on my channel. You get a couple of people the same name commenting above and below. Oh, are you Kim? Are you talking about about Hauser? <laughs> one of the fun things I have told you this before, lovely viewers. Um, one of the fun things about having a YouTube channel is reading comments from people who watch videos. Um, quite a while after the live has gone live and has been, have been reading the chat and Kim left a message on an old video today where we, uh, Cindy's here, isn't she? Yes, Cindy's here. And Martina was in that chat from three years ago where we were talk, talking about Hauser. And what was the other thing we were talking about? Oh, I was talking to you about um, French and Saunders. And it, it was quite a fun episode, that one. Anyway, so I went back and watched, re-watched this old video just to kind of look at what, at what Kim was laughing at. And I remembered that it was a, a really fun live that we had together. Um, and there have been some really like moments like that doing lives. There's something really special about live streaming where you have a group of people who, you, you know, I know you're not talking, but you're, you are communicating with each other. And there's lots of funny conversation and banter happening and... And it's just brilliant. Um, and and there are moments that are, are created that can never be relived. And um, apart from obviously reading the chat back, but, um, you know, it was kind of like you had to be there moment type thing. <clears throat> right. All the down unders, hands up, please. You are not going to be shot. This is just to see how many of you are there. <laughs> yes, do a like a, I don't know, what, what emoji could they do? <laughs> oh, I know what. Let me do a poll. Hold on, bear with. Sorry, those of you watching on the replay, just forward a few minutes. Um, 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 hold on, how do I do a poll? Um... Engage with your audience, start a poll. Right, where are you from? Where are you from? So we've got uh, USA, Canada, and I'm not sure, I might have to merge Canada and USA if I haven't got enough uh, thingies, adoption. Uh, Europe, we'll say Europe for everybody in Europe. Um, South Pacific. There we go. Done the poll. <laughs> oh, I love it. Kenzie, you're in Canada. <laughs> oh, 
I know. I know, Kim. I realised that afterwards it was an Easter video. All right, back to back to bookmaking. <coughs> Excuse me. This is what we're here for, everybody. <laughs> so I've got my wee little pages here with my very neatly folded quarter of an inch, tiny weeny, tiny weeny weeny weeny. Um, hold on, I'll get these in order. I did have them in order. There we go. That's it. We'll do no, I don't want gold there. I don't want gold there either. I think I might do it that way. Yeah, do it that way. All right. This one's going down first. So a little bit of glue. Might have to do a bit of glue spreading with a bit of scrap. Okay, and I'm going to pop that into my wee little spine here, like so. I probably should be decorating these before I stick them in, but hey. Right, so push, 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 and then a little bit of a push there, like so. Then a bit more glue here. A little bit of a spread. And then the folded edge is going up to meet the edge that I've just stuck down. Okay, so pop that down. And the way to make sure it's come straight with the other one is actually to open that up, that page up, and align it exactly the top and the bottom and you'll know then that it's it's correct and then a little bit of pressure fold it over a little bit of pressure like so oh my goodness I love this already it's so adorable so adorable 27 votes come on there's nearly 50 of you on here tonight folk oh 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 sorry sorry I forgot to switch my notifications off there we go Da, da, da. Sorry about that, everybody. Right. <sighs> right. Uh, my brain and my mouth are not properly connected. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, I can't. Why can't I see the the pole? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's quite a quite a spread at the moment. Wow. So we've got 18% in the USA, 21% in Canada, 29% in Europe, and 32% in the South Pacific. Wow. Wow, South Pacific have it tonight, folk. Unless some of you are not voting. All right, so the folded edge, I'm meeting up with the, the edge that's already down. I'm gonna open that up, just make sure it's all beautifully aligned. Is Lincolnshire close by to me? No, it's not. It's on the other side of uh, England. I'm in Wales, so I'm in the west of the UK. In, you, uh, in Wales and Lincolnshire is on the other side in England. <clears throat> but I, um, I tell you who's in Lincolnshire. Uh, my friend Sandra, who's a demonstrator. No, no, she's not in Lincolnshire. She's in Norwich, no Norfolk. Sorry, Norfolk, which is near ish to Lincolnshire. Sorry, no, I was getting my bearings wrong then. But it, anyway, it certainly definitely is on the other side of the UK. But in the grand scheme of things, let's face it, the UK is not a huge landmass compared with the USA and Australia and other places in the world. I mean, you could get three of the UK in Texas. So, you know. Um, what's 
have a look at the comments. All right, two more to go. And then I think we'll do a little bit of decorating. What's the time? In life, half an hour. Ah, okay. I found my ripped page. There we go. There it is. Let's just cut another one of those. I, I, it was interesting. When I scored that paper, I could feel something was going. Oh, where do I put it? Oh, here it is. All right, so I'm just going to check. Ah, uh, see, look there. Right, so just be very careful when you score your pages because if you do it too firmly, you are in danger of ripping there. And because we're, this is a book, obviously we don't really want, don't want pages to fall out, so... Just be very careful. And if you're in doubt in any way, just test it before sticking it on. Right. Put that in there. Open that back up. Right, so we're going to close the voting. Let's uh, let's see who's won. Oh, Europe's got thirty-two percent now. Right, I'll give you another minute to cast your votes. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot something. All right, hold on. I forgot. The last page, you don't stick on the same way. So I'm just going to show you. I've got to cut another piece because I've already put the glue on. See, I wasn't concentrating then. So the last one, you actually fold in the other way. because we're going to stick that final panel like so, like that, so that you don't get it on that side. Right, let's end this poll. There we go. Yes, Monica's coming over. Peter is looking for a cottage as we speak. Oh, yes. Come, Shaz. I've, I've literally just booked this gorgeous little cottage um, on the outskirts of Welshpool for my parents at the beginning of May. Right, that's the last one going in. Right. I think I would have got this done a little bit quicker if I hadn't had you guys to distract me, but you're a, a lovely distraction. So I'm not going to complain. But I think sometimes it is helpful for me to make a few mistakes so that you know the pitfalls.
There we go. Now, I guess I could have made these pages a little bit bigger, but the size that they are, it means that we can do some fun decorating. And look, we've got these scrappy bits that we could use up. Stick that over that. <clears throat> We're going to what? We're going to Martinez in twenty twenty five. Excellent. Hi, Mary. Hi, Georgiana, if you're here. Why does my finger hurt? Not quite sure why. Right, what's on the back of this one? Oh, the gold. Um. Oh, I could do a little pocket, couldn't I? Just sit in there. Or that at one and three quarters. And then what were we across again? Two inches, wasn't it? If I just do that just under two inches. Across there and there. Fold those back. <clears throat> oh, it's definitely more space at Martina's than my house. So I'm just putting glue on these flaps that I folded back, spreading them well, spreading the glue well. Just going to tuck that there. I'm going to see if I've got a little tiny label that can fit in there. Um, we've still got, 
got those lovely little tag label dies. That'd be really nice to stick something in there. Oh, I've got some of these left over from yesterday. That would make a nice little tag, wouldn't it? Or a tuck spot. Mm, I might cut that in half. What does this measure? Uh, take that to three quarters of an inch. Actually, what's that in centimetres? No, we'll take it to a three quarter, roughly three quarters. And then score there. Fold and then score so that the scores are two and three quarters apart. <coughs> Then I stick that there and there. That could be a little tuck spot. Shaz is sleeping with the cats. Oh. <laughs> oh, you'd love that, Shaz. This little book would be perfect for all the passport photos one had over the years, just to see oneself ageing rapidly. <laughs> That's true. I actually have kept pictures, uh, sorry, like IDs, photo IDs from when I was like really young. Because I lived in London, we used to have this like travel ID for when you were under a certain age so that you could get cheaper transport and I am sure I've got mine somewhere still right I think I could use some of this paper that I made earlier as tuck something to tuck in under there I'm just going to cut this to one and seven eighths by two and five eighths. Let's check that. That does fit in there. And then I'm going to cut this down to uh, two and a half by that to sit on there like that. Two one and three quarters. So I'm going an eighth smaller all the way around. into there okay Just had an idea. Uh, so that was two inches. So what if I score this at 
<clears throat> one and seven eighths. Then at two. Then at two and one eighth. Oh. Ah, not quite. All right, that's fine. Just cut that off there. All right, so the idea was that this, we can fold these back. So what if I was to glue just that piece like so and then you could have that as a flap that opens and that as a flap that opens, although I'm wondering whether that way around would be nicer. Right, put some glue right in the middle. It is interesting making things like the, on this sort of small scale because um, you've got to kind of go with how the paper behaves as well. Sorry, there's a bit of a glue goober there. I don't know quite where that goes. Right, how am I going to do that uh, on this one? Right, push that right in, push that down, oh there's some glue coming out the top of there, a little bit of glue coming out, oh and there's no glue coming at the top of that, sorry I, I said it as if there would be but no there isn't, it's alright. And then I'm hoping that, that then will flick back. And also because it's so small, I don't feel the need for any magnets or anything. All right, let's just... Um, ah, so some of the glue did spurt out a little bit and it wanted to stick, or I didn't want it to stick, but never mind. So just be aware of that, the glue wanted to come out. Okay, that's quite nice. And I'm wondering whether then to just put a little matting layer then inside of there. I'm talking very tiny measurements here compared to what I usually do. <clears throat> so one and one eighth by... One and no, one and a quarter by one and five eighths. One and a quarter. One and a quarter. One and five eighths. Yeah. I love how I'm using this bit of paper that I just got these random marks on from the baby wipe. It's fab. Oh, see you, Monica. Nice to see you. Thank you for stopping by. Ah, oh, maybe I could have gone a little bit wider on that. <clears throat> oh, 
one and five sixteenths. Okay. There we go. And then that one there. So Right, last page. I think just another pretty tuck spot would be fine. So two and three quarters. Chop a bit off. I was going to ask when did you do that one sheet wonder and now you say it's left over from the other day. Yes, yesterday. Jane, yes. Um. So I'm just trying to see what I could use as the um, tuck spot for that one. Just use a bit of that. <clears throat> oh, actually, I could have a folded one. A little folio, mini folio within it. Um, <laughs> I have a little idea. Do a little concertina. So we'll score up one and three quarters. Hold it. Four again. Hold it back. And cut. There we go, little wee thing in there. All right, so 
let's have a look. So I've got little decoration on this side, little decoration on this side, little, oh, I've got to make a little tag to go in there. Um, do that in a minute. That's a tuck spot. That's a little opening. That's a little opening. That's a little tucky thing. All right, so we've only got six six wee little pages. So I'd like to decorate the front. Quite like that little bird. I'm wondering whether we can. Ooh, cut that little bird out. Oh no, that's too much fuss. I'm just going to tear him out. Because if I start cutting, I'm going to be here for the next five minutes. Let's just do a bit of scrappage. Right, let me figure out what size I need this to be. Find all the little scrappy bits and see if I can create a fun little collage of all the scraps. Can I put on here? Mm -hmm. Oh no, that's the cover anyway, isn't it? Don't want that on there. This little mini collage to go on the front cover there. I just leave that gap because I might put a word or you know do something or letter or something on there so I'll leave that for now. I'm gonna put my little bird on there. Oh I might have got some little prima flowers that I could use as well. Oh hold on hold on.
Right, I feel like I want to just edge that a bit. Lost Lagoon. Give it a bit more definition. Need some embellishing as well. That'll do for now. Could, could keep going, you know. There's lots more I could do to it. I might stick some flowers on the inside as well, but I think I'm just going to get this done. Oh, wear gloves, Mary. Yeah. Just wear some surgical gloves or something. Yep. You're due to get what? One, te one tenth of an inch or? Now I could put something on the inside as well, like a little, could do a little pocket there. Or you could make yourself a little envelope. Um, I do feel like I want to make some little mini tags though. I might get my little um, cut and emboss machine out and get my little wee tag dies out how long have I been live for? I feel like I could just keep going <laughs> this is so much fun great way to use up little bits and pieces and scraps particularly if you've got you know if you've done a, a, a big project and you've got lots of scraps that are sort of similar colours sitting to the side this is a great way just to have a bit of fun with them I'm actually going to snip that off Right, before I do anything else, in case there's any of you that want to go, I am going to check it fits into my little box here. So if you missed the beginning of the video, I used up the baby wipe that I had for yesterday's baby wipe technique. Um, I used it up, I spritzed and used it up. I'm using, this is Pin Flare Book Binding Glue. Um, I bought it for book binding. You can use Tombow if you want to. Um, it's just that I have it there and I just want to kind of use it. So I'm going to construct this. So when you get these little put together box kits from Stampin' Up, uh, it's worth just going round and folding along all the score lines first before trying to assemble it. It is so much easier if you just take the time to do that. <clears throat> and then this one looks like you 
pop this in like so and then pop this panel down and it should clip in yep it does that one in and that should clip into there and then that one down and that one clips into there like so and then i think that should tuck into there yep there we go right so we'll get it back open again let's check this fits into there it does yay there you have a little box for your mini album so it's liking to boing open a little bit i mean you could put a a ribbon fastening around there if you wanted to oh i've got a little mark on there so i think i might just add a little panel to the outside so there we go i just wanted to sort of show you that that all works that all fits in together and it's nice to use some of that sort of paper that i created with those little splodges on it kind of like it all kind of matches beautifully so um if you do need to go feel free to go but i'm going to just keep going for another few minutes <laughs> because um i'm really i really want to see what it looks like with some tags in so if you can stick around stick around but um yeah if you do need to go do feel free to go right i need to find my oh first one i picked up how oh, wonderful so I want to see if the smallest little tag will fit in. It does. And then the next size up. Oh yay! All right. Okay, I'm going to cut a few of those out then. So these are the tailor-made tags. <coughs> and so again, this is a great way to use up your Just looking to see what I've got. I've got that, that, so that, bit of that. And what colours have I used? Oh. Some bubble bath. Right, let's make some little tags then. Now, I think I probably could cut out two at a time of these. Save me some time. Thank you, Carla. <laughs> of course, we'll stick around. Oh, thank you.
No, I've not heard yet. She's due next month. Her partner hasn't, the well, last I spoke to her, her partner hadn't been very well, so she was nursing him a little bit. <gasps> oh, Martina, I can imagine you making one of these little books for your grandchildren, like a birthday book. I'm just cutting some of these out because I think what I'd like to do is actually make the tabs quite sturdy and back them, the, 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 stick the DSP on them and then back them. That's why I'm cutting out some extra. And then there are these really cute um, these little, I call them the mini donuts, but they are little whole um, reinforces <clears throat> pokey tool to get these out just do another set of those And then I wanted to cut out some little of the mini, these mini ones. These sort of jobs, I just wish I could click my fingers and it'd be done, but unfortunately not. Take care, Deb. Lovely to see you. Will be the last one then we'll see where I can put them and also it'd be nice to put some fibre some ribbon or something in onto these My, um, my son happily informed me today that he'd finally got a payment from Twitch. So for those of you who don't know, who don't have any children, you know, your lives, you do gaming. Uh, Twitch is this like live streaming uh, channel for gamers. And um, he thought, I don't know how long he's had his Twitch account. It's quite a while. But a bit like Google. If you're paid by Google, you need to have a certain amount of money in your account before you get paid. And so he finally got his first payment from Twitch. 
So I'm really pleased for him. And then the other day he was saying something like, well, you know, if I do make videos, I mean, could you like tell your 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 channel like to ask your friends to follow, you know, maybe they've got, you know, grandchildren or children that would follow me. <laughs> So he's already asking me to endorse him. Cheeky child. There we go. Because he was saying, oh, I'd like to make videos. I was like, okay. Go for it, dude. So he likes to play... Well, he plays Fortnite and he plays Rocket League. Sometimes plays Minecraft. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. His granddad, his Gong Gong would be pleased. Entrepreneurial. <laughs> I was looking at this thinking, what's happened to this? It's gone a bit mouldy, and then I've remembered it's the paper. <laughs> Twitch, yeah, he's on Twitch. Oh. I don't even know what his account is, to be honest. I think I know what it might be. I know what, let me send him a message. <clears throat> uh, Jaden, hold on, let me message him. What's your account name? on Twitch. Um, right. That one can go in there. Yeah, I was counting the pennies this morning, you know, as you do, household accounts and things. And um, I realised that I've been paying his mobile phone bill. And I was like, uh, son, can you stop paying your mobile phone bill, please? <laughs> and I said, uh, so I said, you know, can I have February and January's? And he was like, oh, yeah, yeah. And then he told me, oh, yeah, because I've got some money from Twitch. I was like, oh. Great. <clears throat> yeah, it's 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 a bit like YouTube, but um, you you and the, and there's also a subscription service, a bit like YouTube. But I'd I'd be interested to know if Twitch takes less or more than YouTube. Because um, you can subscribe to people and then you can tip people as they're playing. So if you like a streamer, you can tip them. So, um, right, tuck that little one in there. I think I'll just do one more little one. Blue. I do like backing these tags. They just feel sturdy. You take them out then. Alright, is it worth me sticking some of these? I won't I won't stick reinforcers on all of them because I just feel the colour's not quite right, but I'll just put it on some so you can see what they look like. Look at that, how cute! How cute!
Gina K streams on Twitch. Oh, does she? Actually, I could stream on Twitch. And I actually, I think I do have a Twitch account. Oh, maybe I should start thinking of doing that. I could, I could live stream also on Facebook at the same time. But, um, but because I can't, be, I'm not monetized. Well. I'm not monetized on Facebook. I kind of felt that it's easy, it's better for people just to come to YouTube to watch me. <clears throat> right, I am so keen to put some threads onto here now. Right, I'm just going to pull my ribbons around to see what I've got. Oh, I've got some of this lovely soft sea foam. And ooh, a little bit of Lost Lagoon. A little bit of bubble bath. And get the old threads out. <laughs> Use the white or the linen. Actually, I might use linen. Got a bunch of linen here to use. Right away. Okay. Right. So this might take a few minutes as well. If you're watching this on the replay, and you don't want to see me threading this stuff for the next five minutes. Skip ahead. Uh, I want it for my weenies. Oh, what, um, Twitch or... Now, I haven't checked to see that he keeps it clean. <laughs> Not teenagers and like. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just double check <laughs> before I start endorsing him. <laughs> I mean, he's, he, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't use language in front of us, but, you know, you just never know, do you? when they're streaming. So I like doing this where you put the ribbon through and then tie some twine around the ribbon. I prefer doing it this way because I feel it, keep, it keeps it flatter. And I like to stagger it a bit, have the front front a bit shorter than the back. Hi, Veronica. Thank you, Elizabeth. All right, this one I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to do a knot. My fingers are getting tired. Right. How to do that? Mm. 
Well, actually, no, they'll put three first. Hmm, no, this one, you know what? I'm just going to do thread for this one because it's so tiny. There we go. This one I feel needs a little panel on it. I do that. One and a one and three eighths by one and three eighths. Oh, easy. One and three eighths. No, don't move. I want one blade. One and three eighths. No, no, stay there. Tassel is worth the hassle. A little tassel would be the icing and a little work. What, down the, um, the, I could attach a tassel to the spine. I might have got a little tassel. Well, I could always make a little tassel. Yeah, I could. I've got space to punch a little hole there. I could have one hanging from there. <clears throat> or I could attach a panel that would then have a hole with the tassel on it. Oh, I could, I, honestly, I love decorating stuff like this because I could just keep going and going and going and going. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I don't know where to stop. I love the texture of this ribbon. It's got it's got a real kind of like natural feel to it, although I don't think it is. I think I've got a feeling it's polyester, but um it is it just looks so cool. <clears throat> It's super dinky. Yeah, it's really dinky, this. And it's fun. If your hands can do it, enjoy making it. How long have I been going? An hour and a half, for my word. I did not expect to still be here for an hour and a half. You know what? I'm so into doing this now. I can't stop. I might have to crack my back though. <laughs> oh. I think I just love playing with all the patterns and the textures and yeah it's all the stroke ability of it isn't it oh My husband has called me Dinky since we were dating. Little did he know that he had an aunt, Dinky. <laughs> yeah, we just, Dinky is like a word for small. That's what we use here in the UK.
Right, I'm wanting to decorate these pages. Oh no, I don't want to decorate that one. That's nice as it is. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. Oh, that one's okay as well. Um, although, I'll tell you what would look nice is if I stapled with my little mini stapler. I have not seen my really good pair of Fiskar scissors for absolutely ages. I think I need to double check to see if they've got lost in May's bedroom. Oh, no. Ooh, I'll tell you what I like doing. This will make sense in a sec. Actually, as you put thread there, then you put your little staple over the top there. And then you tie tie that in a knot. How cute is that? Oh, glue on me off. How nice is that? Right. I'll put one on there as well. Get the thread. Put the thread across there. You might even do a little. Oh no, we'll do. Flower as well, I'll do a flower on the lawn. There <clears throat> we go. Right, that doesn't need anything. I don't think that needs anything unless I put one on there. Could do. Uh, that opens like that, that opens like that. Oh, let's decorate this. Just write down what this measures again. So that's one and three quarters by two and a half. Okay. So I want one and a half by two and a quarter. I'm going to need Advil just after watching this. My hands are hurting. <laughs> Dink and dinky thing are the same word, lol. Ah. Attractively small and neat. Yes. I'm dinky. <laughs> was that her actual name then, Kim? Or was that a, a nickname that she was given?
You may be dinky, but you are, you are never a dink. Oh, does dink mean something different then? Oh, I've just realised I've got a bit of a clash of uh, design happening here. <laughs> Oops. Um, right, I wonder if I can put something over the top of that. <clears throat> right, I have got space here for a little pocket. I might make a little wee envelope. I wonder what the smallest envelope is I can make on the punch board. I can go smaller. Let's go four and a half by four and a half. One and three quarters. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, I shouldn't have done that. I don't think. Hold on. Oh, no, that's too long. Okay, so next time I'm going to score at one and seven eighths, maybe. Oh, really, Pam? <laughs> Okay, I'm going to do this at one and seven eighths. So this square is four and a half by four and a half. And the first score I'm doing is at one and seven eighths, for those of you who've got the scoreboard. So Stampin' Up! used to sell this many years ago, but it's actually made by We Are Memory Keepers. And so you can still purchase it from the We Are Memory Keeper if you really want one. Am I noting down the measurements of the basic book? 
Uh, I haven't written them down, but uh, if anyone wants to watch this video back, and jot them down. And I'll, I'll give out the basic measure. Oh, whoopsie. I'll give out the basic measurements at the end. Right, so I'm just going to top and tail this. Although I think what I might do is uh, cut that off or oh, fold it over. Make that a little bit more neater. Just lining it up with my grid paper there. Just fold that over. Oh, there we go. Now, do we have it open that way? I'm open that way. I think that way because it's easier then to slip something into there. Actually, before that gets set, oh no, not that one. Can slip that behind. One and three quarters by two and three quarters. I love it when it happens. Perfect piece. Perfect.
Could have it going around that way instead. Right, Lost Lagoon Ink gone. You held it again. Right, is there any more? Any more I can do? Those have all got loads then. Right, let's check it all fits in. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> kind of, sort of. Just got to tuck the ribbons in. There we go. Right. Of course, if you've got time, you can do more to the box. Actually, I might put, should I put a little lino in there? Although I quite like the, all that. All that jazz. Might be quite fun to have bit of a liner in there. So, what's that? Two and three quarters by four. Could have a secret compartment at the bottom. Oh, what's going on with my... Oh, what's going on? Still alive? What's going on here? <laughs> 